I've got a really cool strum trick to share with you today. You can put this into your ukulele playing right away. You know, normally when we're strumming and the chords change, they often change on beat one, and we are usually strumming down on beat one. I'd like to show you a new way of doing this that can add a lot more character and groove to it. Here is the old way. One, two, three, four, one, two. See how on beat one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Chord changes on beat one, I strum down on beat one, which is a great thing to do. Take a listen to this, it sounds a little different. Two, three, four, one. Can you hear? I'm landing on the chord on beat one, but not strumming it. How do I do this? What does it do to the groove? We'll get into this in this video. Let me show you how to practice it. The strum pattern we're gonna use is the good old down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up strum, which by the way is not a lame strum at all. There are so many ways to play it. There's a lot of nuance to it. Different styles can be used by changing it. Maybe we'll explore that in a future lesson. But right now, when we change the chord, watch what I do, the last up strum. I'll do it real slow so you can practice it with me. Down, down, up, up, down, up. I let go of the chord on the last up strum. That's step one. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Immediately afterward, the next chord, you land on the fretboard, kind of hammer the strings. You don't have to do it with much force. Down, down, up, up, down, up. See how it lands on the chord right on beat one, but I haven't strummed. Down, down, up, up, down, up. And then the very next beat, beat two, bam, you hit the strings a little harder. This is very cool for roots and rock and roll and reggae and island styles where you're emphasizing beat two a lot. And here's a good practice tip for you. Try to count out loud. Pay attention to where beat one is. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One is where the chord hammer down, up, up, down, hammer. great power in being able to say it and articulate it with your mouth, your hands will obey the command from your brain. This is how we really make progress in our music, by doing things at a speed where we are connecting the dots, stacking one success on top of another. This way you practice, uh, you start to reach your goals with it, and that inspires you, of course, to keep showing up and learning new things. For some songs, this is a really cool thing to do. I like to use this on a song called Jump Up. We enjoy it around my house a lot. I'm gonna make a video lesson for that tomorrow and it, there'll be a link for it right up here and in the video description below. Hope you'll subscribe to the channel so you can join in with that tutorial. It's a really uplifting and fun song. Let's practice the chord progression for that song right now. It'll be right here on the screen for you to enjoy. You can play with the chords changing on the beat and strumming on the beat or you can try this new trick. One, two, three, four. Jump up. Day is breaking. Jump up. Let's get shaking. I know you're lying down. Jump up and we'll dance around. I'll show you the whole song in the next video. If you're still watching, thank you. Let's practice it one last time. It's like this. Down, down, up, up, down, up, hammer. Down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, hammer. Down, up, up, down, up, down. It really will become intuitive once you spend some time going slowly with it. I hope you have a wonderful day making music. Look forward to seeing you in another lesson soon. Thanks very much for watching. Keep on jamming.